my dear children welcome back to our mathematics class and children i hope all of you have understood whatever we have solved till the question number 5 from exercise 6.7 we have done so children today we are going to start our new exercise that is exercise number 6.8 and before starting that exercise questions we will discuss about the properties of multiplication of fractions so let's see so children all of you take out your book number 4 and the page number 18 there properties of multiplication of fractions we will read out it from here only okay so property number 1 is any fraction multiplied by 0 gives 0 all of you know that any number multiplied by 0 you will get 0 same way if we we'll multiply any fraction with 0 we will get the Zero as a result. All right. So here, for example, three by seven is multiplied by zero. The product will be zero. Like two times of one by five is multiplied by zero. Then also we'll get the zero. All right. Same way. Now our property number two is any fraction multiplied by one gives the same fraction. Student, as you know that any number is multiplied by one, it gives the same number or the number it said same way if we multiply any fraction with the one we'll get the same fraction all right see here let's see some examples are given 6 by 11 into 1 so what will be their children 6 by 11 only same way suppose here two times 3 by 5 is multiplied by 1 it will be same ledger here you can see children 2 of c there is some so children there is some printing mistakes you can see it will be 2 of 3 by 5 okay same will be there all right as it was some printing mistake but it will be same fraction same mixture all right so 2 of 3 by 5 now let's see that property number 3 is the product of two fraction remains the same even if the order of multiplications is changed all right so that means all of you know that if the multiplication if will change the order then the number of product result will be same see suppose here we have done here suppose you will do that 2 into 3 or you will get 6 or if will change the order 3 into 2 then also we will get the 6 or this type of things we have done you know it but same way here if we see the products of two fractions remains the same if you see 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 so how much you will get your children 1 as the numerator we have to multiply together and denominator so 2 into 3 will get 1 by 6 same way if we change the order here that means the position will change 1 by 2 into 1 by 3 then how much you will get children This numerator we have to make a product of numerator divided by product of the denominator. So denominator is what? Three into two. So what you will get? One by six. Same result we are getting out. So these things only it said in the property number three. All right, children. I hope it's clear to you now. Now see here. One example is shown. Two by five into ten by eleven. So now we can cancel out. As five and ten they have the common factor five. So five point zero five. Five two zero. Ten. Okay. Now, what what we have got here? Two into two. This two, and here one into eleven. So it's whatever we have getting. Two into two is four by eleven. All right. Same way. If we we'll change the order. Now let's see. So after changing the order, you can see here ten by eleven into two by five. Just to have changed the order. So then also you can see five point zero five five two just ten. So two into two is four and eleven into one. It's eleven. So what we have got here? So this means just to have if we we'll change the place, then also we'll get the product same. That means the fraction will be same four by eleven. See, just we I have shown this one also same way. We have got this result also. Alright, children. I think it's clear to you now how we have done. Now let's do the exercise question. So question one is our find. That means we have to find the fill. Alright, children. So let's do. A is one third of g by two. So what we have to do? All of you know that here of means we have to multiply. 
right so 1 by 3 into 3 by 2 okay children so what you have to do at first you will look that here we can cancel out or not where we can divide or not by their common factor as you know the lowest term of how we have done so you can do this way 3 1 to 3 3 3 1 to 3 so 3 and 3 this we can cancel out so what we have got now 1 by 2 so that means this is the answer half all right children now let's do the question number b 2 by 7 or 14 by 15 so how we can do it off just we have to multiply it off means you remain it off means is multiplication so 2 by 7 into 14 by 5 all right children so now we can look see this means you can make one more lines also like 2 into 2 into 14 then, then together you can write here 7 by so children see this way also you can form but it means only same it conveys the same so we can do the work here also as multiplication is there so 2 here 7 so 7 1 to 7 7 2 to 14 now what we have got here 2 and 1 more 2 is there so 2 into 2 and down how what are there 1 into 15 so it means 2 into 2 is 4 and 1 into 15 it's 15 so 4 by 15 as it is a proper fraction so we cannot convert into the mixed fraction all right so this is we have this is the result now let's do the question number c 2 by 3 of 9 by 11 so 2 by 3 into 9 by 11 now let's do 3 1 to 3 3 3 to 9 so it will be 12 okay so 2 into 3 now is down to 1 into 11 so 6 by 11 as 2 into 3 is 6 all right children now let's do the our question number next question that is d number 2 by 5 of 19 by 16 so how we can solve it children see 2 by 5 it's of means multiplication so 19 by 16 and 2 is a factor of 2 also and 16 also so we can cancel out this 2 1 2 2 8 16 okay so after dividing we have got here 8 now 1 to 19 and 5 into 8 so it's 19 by 45 8 to 40 okay children now next one is look here that ocean number e 2 by 3 of 9 by 12 so 2 by 3 into 9 by 12 see here children 2 please pay your attention look nicely okay this is mind it so 2 1 2 1 to 2 and here you can look this 12 this 12 is divisible by 2 all of you know that 2 is a factor of 2 so we can divide both this number by 2 okay but here 2 process is there 2 is a factor but 3 also a factor of 12 okay as 3 4 to 12 now these two we will do at first two way we can do one by two also we can do divide but three also so but here i have done by three see here three one to three okay and three three to nine so by three uh, three three to nine and here three four to twelve okay now what we have got here here three and two now you can see here there is one more three so three and three this three we can cancel out now this four we can do divide by two two one to two and two two to four so what we have got here two so one by two at first we have done these two work then this three and this three we have cancel out so, and the okay, remaining is two and four so after two we have divided it's two and one more way i'm showing that's way also you can do it's like this two by three into your nine by twelve okay children so how we can do it children one more way that's two one to two two six so twelve and you can see here three 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 ja nine and three two ja six and here you can see now this three and this three is can, we can cancel as both the, are the having three common factors so this three we can have cancel now two is remaining so one by two all right this way also we can solve and this way also all right children now let's do the next one f number so 3 by 8 of 16 by 15 see here 3 and 15 both are having fact common factor 3 so 3 1 to 3 3 5 to 15 and 8 and 16 having common factor so 8 1 to 8 8 2 to 16 so 2 in numerator is 1 into 2 it's 2 and denominator is 1 into 5 it's 5 2 by 5 so all right now i hope this clear to you you do practicing okay so children here you can see fill in the blanks we use here the properties of fraction of multiplication okay 2 by 16 into 3 by 
uh, sorry 32 by 40 so and another side is given 2 in by 16 and multiplication sign is there so this we have to find out so what do you have to write here children i have written already there as you know the product of two fractions remains the same if the order of multiplication is changed so there only the order of multiplication is changed one number is given and another number is missing here so which one number is missing that one we have to write in the here plain side so what will be here 32 by 40 all right children so as it's not given here 2 by 16 is given just here order is changed now we have to solve it to get this result so how we can solve it children here you can look here 32 by 40 into 2 by 16 so how we can solve here you can see 2 1 ja, 2 and 2 so here 2 2 ja, 4 and 2 20 ja, 40 and one more you can see 16 1 ja, 16 16 2 ja, 32 all right and again you can cancel 2 1 ja, 2 2 10 ja, 20 so what you have got here 1 by 20 uh, sorry 10 1 by 10 as 16 2 ja, 32 we have done and 2 1 ja, 2 2 20 ja, 40 again we can cancel this two they are having common factor two so two one ja, two two ten ja, twenty okay so what we have got here one by ten so this is the answer that the product answer will be one by ten all right children now let's do the next one 17 by 18 into 0 so as you know the property number one is any fraction is multiplied by zero the result will be zero so it will be zero let's do the subtraction number six five by twelve into one so all of you just now we have learned that any fraction multiplied by 1 gives the same fraction. So, it's multiplied by 1. So, what will be the fraction next? It's same fraction. 5 by 12. Alright. Now, next one. Let's do. Here you can see children. 8 by 15 into. Here is missing. And missing numeral is missing. And to another opposite result is 8 by 15. So, what will be here? Children. What? All of just now we have done in C number. Any number is multiplied by 1, then only we are getting the same result. So, answer is same. So, which will be here? Here will be 1. Okay. Then we are getting, then only we will get the same result. Alright, children. Now, last one you can do 2 by 7 into 0 by 5. So, what we have get here? 2 by 7. If you will do like this, 2 by 7, 0 by 5. Any number divided by 0, we will get the same 0. Okay. We will get 0. So, it means... 0 into multiplied by any number so result will be 0 as we will get the here 0 ok so what we have got 2 by 7 it will be it means 0 as 0 divided by any number we are getting 0 and 0 is multiplied by any number then also we are getting 0 so result will be 0 alright I hope this clear to you now now let's start a new topic that is Reciprocal of numbers or multiplicative inverse is called. So, what does it mean? Actually, children, if two numbers are such that their product is 1, then this is called the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of each other. Okay. So, it means the reciprocal of fraction is obtained by interchanging the numerator and the denominator. So, if, suppose a fraction is 3 by 5. So if we change here, this 5 will if we write in up and the 3 will write as a denominator in down. So then if we change the interchange it, then we will get the reciprocal of. So 5 by 3, if we change it, 5 will up and 3 is done. So 5 by 3 will go and it's called the reciprocal of 3 by 5 each other. Okay. And it is another verse is called multiplicative inverse. So see here 3 by 5 into if we write here 5 by 3. So, what we will get here? 3 and 3 will be cancelled out as they are same. And here 5 and 5 we can, if we divide 5 by 5, then also we will get here 1. So, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is 1. So, 1 is the result. That's only here said that if two numbers are so that the product is 1, then the each of the number is called multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. So, reciprocal means just suppose here 11 by 8. So, reciprocal of it, what reciprocal will be? Just change, interchange, reciprocal. Okay, so it will be 8 by 11, just we have to interchange. Here you have to write here, 
and this one we have to take okay so this is called the reciprocal and if we we'll multiply both the reciprocal and the number then we are getting one as the product so children see here the reciprocal of 3 by 5 is 5 by 3 same way if you do reciprocal of 5 by 11 is what it will be 11 by 5 and reciprocal of 2 is 1 by 2 reciprocal of 13 by 7 it will be 7 by 13 just we have to interchange and reciprocal of 2 of 1 by 2 it will be what 2 by 5 and reciprocal of 1 is 1 as if you write here 1 and then also 1 if you change then also you will get the same result so it means reciprocal of 1 is 1 but here you can say 0 reciprocal of 0 means 0 if you divide by 1 so it will be but if you divide here it means like this but we cannot write 1 divided by 0 okay that means 0 has no reciprocal since there is no number which multiplied with 0 is gives 1 so the reciprocal of the 0 does not exist all right children